What's going on YouTube? I'm Dark Jack. In this video I'm going to talk about how to get high kill streaks in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now this game I'm running the Reaper AC-130 and Osprey Gunner. If you want to get high kill streaks in high scoring games I recommend you use that setup. Or you can use Predator Missile, Reaper, AC-130, that's another great combination. Now if you want to have a good kill death ratio in this game you need to run high kill streaks. Unless you're an absolute beast like Excal or Fear Crads or the Market J, you can use Specialist and get Moabs, you know, almost every day. But for everyone else, if you want to get a high score, you need to run high kill streaks in the assault package, because support is almost worthless. Because people can use Assassin to counter the UAV, counter UAV, EMP, and everything else, including having a red name, so that counters marksmen. So to get high kill streaks, the setup I use is either the Type 95 or the MK14 with red dot and rapid fire or the SCAR or the ACR with a silencer and I run either sleight of hand, scavenger or recon and if I'm going to use a stinger I use scavenger unless I have a blind eye class on for shooting down air support and I find recon to be very good as well if you use flashbangs and semtex with recon it's great because when you stun someone or flash someone you can see everyone on the other team. So that's great. In this game I'm using slide of hand. Then for your second perk, what you want to do is run hardline. Hardline is a must if you want to get high kill streaks on a consistent basis. Because with hardline you get the one earlier and every two assists count towards a kill. So that's very, very useful. So if you run Predator, Reaper, AC-130, for example, with hardline, you can get one point for capping a flag. You get another point for shooting down air support. And if you run Stinger, you can get two points for shooting down two different UAVs. Then if you get two assists, that counts toward a kill. So, for example, if you if you got one cap, two assists, and then two kills and shot down one air support, that would be five kills right there, or five points. And you would just need four to get a, a Predator. Then if your Predator gets you four kills, you get a Reaper. And then if your Reaper gets you three kills, you get an AC-130. So in this game, I get eight points by playing very carefully and using cover. So right now on this map village we have the other team in a spawn trap and I'm watching the left side with two other people. And so the person to my left is using that bridge as cover. That's a very good spot. And I'm using this tunnel. So now that I've got my reaper I'm going to use it and with the reaper you want to hit the L trigger to zoom in. So right now I'm struggling to find people because some of them are using a blind eye and there's a temporary shield that they have. When you first spawn in the game you can't be killed by air support for like one or two seconds which is kind of annoying. And then that airstrike kills a bunch of people so I'm getting pretty nervous right now because I'm afraid I may not get my AC-130 out of this. But fortunately I get a kill right there and with the Reaper you just want to fire it as fast as possible. It only takes two stingers to take, to take the Reaper down. So you want to shoot it as soon as you open up the laptop and never stop shooting it. Right there I got the AC-130, so I pull that out and with the AC-130 you want to switch to thermal and then switch between the three different firing sequ sequences or modes as fast as possible. So just shoot and shoot and shoot, never stop shooting. Now with the Osprey Gunner that's coming up next, what you want to do is put it on your side of the map because you don't want to take the risk of the other team getting care packages. So what I did was I put it on our side by the B flag and it's just like the Chopper Gunner in Modern Warfare 2. When you call it in, never stop shooting, always hold down the trigger because this only has two flares, so two people with stingers and blind eye can take you out pretty fast. So I finished this game with uh, 28 KD. Hope you guys learned something from this, and I'll talk to you guys later.